Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's understand set preferred angle and assume preferred angle. So here I've got uh, the skeleton here and then I'm going to choose the joints. I'll be taking the default settings of the joints and then I would like to create a joint chain here. Okay, for the leg. Now, uh, when I just create a IK handle, okay, starting from this joint to this joint and then move it, you should be able to see that I got a nice uh, bend here. So the, ang the angle at which the joint is rotating is already, you know, understood by the IK handle because the way the joints are placed. But when we just create a joint, something like this, like right now I'm placing the joints precisely straight. I'm taking help of the grid snap to make it perfectly sit here. And I'm going to, instead of using um, the RP solver, I'm going to use the single chain solver. Okay. That's really important to understand this. Uh, if you use the rotate plane solver, okay, uh, the preferred angle is decided by this pointer. So when I move it, you could see that the bend is achieved. But if I select um, and just create IK handle and choose single chain solver, okay, there is no uh, angle of bend uh, decided by this handle. If I move this, okay, the joint is rotating because we have applied it. Let me create it from the scratch again. So go to the joints and then click uh, or place the joint on the grid. I'm holding X here and then I'm just creating it again. Okay. Now when I just create this IK handle, which is the single chain solver. And then when I move it, you should be able to see the joint is not bending because uh, in the first case, uh, we have actually set the preferred angle of bend like that. So it's very clear that, okay, this is where the knee is going to bend. In the second case, I have used uh, um, the RP solver, okay? So let me go to the IK handle and then choose RP solver. In RP solver, this pointer is deciding in which side it should bend, right? But here, uh, there is no such uh, indication given to the IK handle that you should bend this way. Now, what, what are you going to do here is select the joint. Uh, first, I'll delete the IK handle, set, select the joint and then rotate it in which angle you want to bend. Go to the skeleton and then just choose set preferred angle. So you have for selected joint or for the hierarchy. Defaultly it was set to hierarchy. So let me do that. So all joints are, uh, all joints uh, preferred rotation angle is set. Now let me go to the IK handle. This time again, I need to choose the single chain solver. And then when I move this, you should be able to see the bend is achieved. Okay. So you're setting in which angle, in which direction the knee should bend or the joint should bend you're setting that is what set preferred angle is okay um what is assume preferred angle i'll show you here so if i just uh, rotate it i've deleted the eye candle and if i say assume preferred angle the joint should come to the uh, the original position where the set preferred angle was uh, set if you remember uh, i was like i did it was like uh, this and i've just rotated it like this and then i just said the set preferred angle. Let me do it once again. So I'll keep it here. Remember the angle. I'm say, saying set preferred angle. Now when I make it zero and then assume preferred angle will take to that particular place. Okay. So it resets to, to place where you have set the preferred angle. Okay. No matter where you are doing that, it will just bring uh, the joint to that place. Okay. Uh, hope this is helpful. I request you to subscribe the channel and support for more content.